Hello and welcome. I am Dawn and today's video has a specific title which is Heart of the Diamond Template Diamond Nexus Activation for Generations of Possibility. It's a mouthful. <laughs> uh, first of all, I hope everybody out there is doing well and uh, it's good to connect in this way and uh, it's good to remember that we are always connected heart to heart, soul to soul. So um, this is actually an activation for a new beginning for all from within the soul of humanity. As I've been sharing these um, daily videos on diamond dimensions, 12 facets of change and how we, how we will be changed forever, um, and I'm just releasing those one at a time and honestly so much is coming through that it's they're long and I apologize for that but that's just how it is and I'm gonna take the time once we're done with these first 12 days of April to uh, do some synthesis and uh, release a, a compacted version but I do hope um, if it calls to you at all that you will watch those videos so I'll put a link below Anyway, as I have been sharing that video series in the previous video series, which was entitled Passage to a New Society on my main YouTube channel, uh, just a wealth of information uh, has been coming through um, about how we are in, in formation as a global society and as communities of belonging within that global society. Um, and how it is an upliftment or an elevation. And there's just been so much coming through in terms of life-giving support for us as we move through the next seven years and the next, um, the next seven years and understand the seven wonders of the soul as we pass through the seven gates of transformation. It's like so much, you guys, I just can't hardly you know, hold on to one thread of it. But let me get to the point. Um, specifically, this morning at 4.44 a.m. on 4.420-2020, so lots of fours going on there, um, I was guided um, to share what was called an activation, and I was shown um, symbolically what this would um, do and how it would activate um, the, the heart and um, my understanding is that me actually just speaking it will be a part of, along with what many, many others are doing, a part of activating this more broadly, regardless of it, you know, who might or might not uh, listen to this, which is a good thing because, <laughs> because uh, but anyway, I, so I was relieved to hear that. So this morning at 444 in the morning, I was shown a bunch of, um, symbols, mainly uh, having to do with dodecahedrons coming together is very um, geometric, this particular transmission that I received. And um, so I was asked to to speak this heart of the diamond template, a diamond nexus activation for generations of possibility. And I wrote all this down and I drew my little doodles, which are a bit of a mess, but I might share them later with you here. Um, but what this is about, it's about our collective DNA and the reclaiming of that to free humanity and all segments of society once for all. Now, not to say that, you know, snap of the fingers and everything will look perfect, but it is to say that this is a new beginning and we are now stepping fully into a new era rich in love. And we are called to co-create a new society together to um, to build new systems and structures that are rooted in the light and the life and the love that we are. And so for whatever reason, there's been a huge um, influx of information um, and insights related to that specific uh, mission of all who are called to the path of sacred partnership and even more broadly called to, you know, light workers, what are commonly called light workers and, and star seeds and uh, there's so many names out there but anyway all of us who are called to live from love essentially it's everyone who chooses um at the, at this point it's not some it's never been some exclusive group um but uh at the same time this particular activation is for those of us who are very much on that path of awakening ascension um activators of the new society of you know ushering in a grace-filled revolution of love by the unique offerings that each of us have to share so that's what this is about and i love by the way the for the generations that i was given it just brought tears to my eyes and my my heart because 
years ago, um, so back in 1999, um, I was given this, like, I don't know how to explain it. It was just like planted in my heart, this, you know, whole um, Seeds for Life or 90, 90 Seeds for Life and what became the Life Seeds Core curriculum. But I didn't, I didn't share it. I was too afraid until 2012. And when I wrote it down and first released it as a free um, ebook, um, I was guided to put on the dedication page for all the generations. And I remember thinking, what in the world? <laughs> what, like that's, what am I going to say to somebody when they ask me what that means? But I knew I had to. And so this was so beautiful that the way this came through through this morning um, to me, and I just wanted to, to share that note with you. Um, you can find the, the Life Seeds um, material in my books, Seeds for Life and uh, in the first of the Cultivating Essence books, which is called Awakening the World Within, and both of those are on my website, dawnrichardson.com, and on Amazon. So, um, so here, uh, oh, one more thing intro introductory-wise before we get to the activation. Um, this is a time when society is going to essentially reinvent itself, um, and that happens in all the pockets of society. Um, we are bringing to light what has um, been hidden, and and we. But it's not just about disclosure or exposure. It is also about bringing forward all that has been hidden that is of the light and. Uh, it's this is shine 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 time so it's about transforming society from the inside out through sustainable systems for flourishing humanity this is something I have uh, I, I have shared uh, here and there in the last I don't know like maybe seven years um, my uh, sustainable systems for flourishing humanity but I'm not going to go into that now but just those words if you would just take the the broad picture for society and when i say society i don't just mean our own uh nations or it's it's also not uh you know one big one government it's not that um but it is the co-creation of sustainable systems at every level of society so from the local and the community um, and communities of belonging within a community, all the way up to um, global cooperatives of, in various sectors of society. So that's what this is all about. And this is the time of the great return. It is a time of transformation from an interior facing reality to the full embodiment, hold on just a second, to, to the full embodiment of our stellar nature through the radical reclamation of our star power, our soul's truth and radiance, and the radiant realization of who we are as one people who come bearing sacred seeds of essence and fine gifts of original design. Again, a mouthful, but that's what I was given in terms of the context for what I'm about to share. So to help us better understand this transformation, we can envision what I was shown this morning, which is a dodecahedron, I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly, which is essentially a platonic solid that is 12-sided, a multidimensional shape, which is composed of 12 pentagonal or five-sided faces. Three of those meet at each vertex. So I'll have to have you imagine that for now. I'm going to attempt to draw it at some point, but Envision that the inner facing dodecahedron, or just if you Google dodecahedron, you, you'll see the main shape with the, the 12 faces. If you envision that, envision from within each of the ver vertices or vertex, I don't know how you pronounce that, but from each of that, there's a point of light, light going inward to the center, and they all meet right in the center of this dodecahedron. Imagine that this is global society at large and it also is a model that we can use to understand each society again at all those various levels so that's what we had have had up till now is an inner facing dodecahedron or what's called a regular dodecahedron and um, with the 12 sides of composed of are comprised of 12 five-sided or pentagonal uh, faces okay now 
envision you know those inner anchors from each of the corners or the vertexes or vertices going inward and meeting in the center and imagine that that is the light and the life and the love that is at the core of humanity so i often talk about this on the individual level but what I've majorly been shown in the last couple of weeks is that this is true at the larger societal and even cosmic levels as well. So for the sake of this video and this activation, we are looking at society defined broadly, but it applies to every level. It, 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 it applies down to the individual level of all of life, um, any life, and to the individual human, to the collective, of humanity and to the cosmos or galactic um, levels as well. So as you imagine that, now what's happening is a huge transformation from that regular dodecahedron, to, which is interior facing, and as the, the lines of connection have met and have gathered and been nourished by those of us who are on a sacred path, there has been literally in a moment when of crisis for the world, which is a real crisis, there has been a literal uh, big bang, if you will, that, that is leading to an inside out transformation and an exterior facing what's called a great stellated dodecahedron. <laughs> <laughs> Google that one too. A great stellated dodecahedron. I'll put links below to like at least the Wikipedia page and then just maybe do some uh, some more research yourself on this. Because I was shown like all of the the five sided um the, the all of each of the faces of the interfacing dodecahedron when that uh it transforms into the stellated dodecahedron there is, you know, you, as you can imagine, a protrusion of light. That anchored light is now ready to burst forth in all directions through all segments of society. And that light and that life and that love is unstoppable. So that is the good news here on April 4th, 2020, which, you know, the number four is usually um, all about foundations. And I, yeah, this is a four year as well. So, um, that is super cool. So I hope that that visual uh, came through. So this is how collectively, this is about our collective life, and this is how we are coming to life so that we might live in full expression as one humanity. So we can now reclaim from the interior diamond castle that is the portal of transformation, our true nature as one people. We can reclaim the true nature of humanity. We can speak it loud and proud and be it, embody that light and life and love that we are collectively. And we vow now to emanate patterns of potential that are aligned with the true nature of humanity. That's what this is about. That is the invitation of this activation. So here we go. This is, once again, let me get the title again collective DNA and the heart of the diamond template, diamond nexus activation for generations of possibility. We choose to embody the soul of goodness, the soul of innocence, the soul of purity, magnified now to the 12th power. This is how the one light, which is the heart of who we are, responds to any and all attempts or malicious intent from this day forward through all directions of time and space. All who wish may now enter the diamond heart of humanity. Together we walk forward in the way of wholeness. The red carpet of the first wheel is extended and every human soul is held within an infinite grace. The wheel of reordering is in full motion. It is rotating now along with the wheel of restructuring, the wheel of remembering, the wheel of recreation, the wheel of radiance. These five wheels within a wheel are the gift of the cosmic Christ who is in our midst and lifting up all who enter into the heart's true home. These wheels within a wheel are a promised gift of the great return, our great return, and they will never cease to turn. The gates are open, all may enter in. We invite now the full knowing of the seven wonders of the soul, faith, hope, love, healing, growth, passion, beauty, and the river of rainbows that is our true heritage. We will walk upon this new earth with an honoring of all forms of life. We will seek with our whole hearts to create new life-giving structures and systems rooted in love. 
So that is the end of um, the conclusion of the collective DNA heart of the diamond template diamond nexus activation for generations of possibility. I just want to say on a personal note that it's it, it feels um, imperative for each of us who have been anchoring the light and holding the highest vision for humanity to continue to do so, particularly through this period of April 1st through 12th. So if you feel so called, then join me for Life Daily with Dawn. But if not, that's, you know, obviously fine. But, but do find ways to connect within. And it's helpful to hold the intention for all human souls to recognize the truth that we are one people held in one light and one life and one love. And that this is, while it may be a time of crisis and confusion, this is a window of opportunity, our next window opportunity that is happening right now to step fully into a whole new way of seeing ourselves or seeing humanity, a whole new way of being ourselves as human beings here in the flesh who come bearing fine gifts of original design. And I would say who have at our core star power, our soul's truth and radiance. It is time to awaken that and allow it to shine forth and allow it to burst forth into all sectors of society. And that we may hold the vision that all may embrace a whole new way of freeing themselves and freeing, did I say in freeing? <laughs> a whole new way of freeing themselves and freeing their own circles of belonging and freeing the world, essentially. This is a great time of healing. We are healing the world, and it is a great time of beginning again in love, from love, with love.